Hello, I'm Mark Chalero, the owner of MS Classic Cars. Today we're here in Seekonk, Massachusetts uh, at the Seekonk Speedway doing a presentation um, and driving video of our 1969 Ford Mustang Fastback Custom. Uh, if anybody has followed MS Classic Cars, uh, you'll clearly see that we've owned uh, some spectacular cars over the years. I have to say that this particular Mustang is one of my favorites. It is hands down one of the fastest. It's got to be a top five uh, car we've ever owned. It runs absolutely awesome. It handles awesome. Uh, of course, it looks amazing. It's just a super car. So to talk about this really quickly, uh, this car was born uh, in S-Code, which means that it came from the factory with a 390 V8 engine. Um, it was built uh, by an award-winning company for a vintage SAAC racer who really uh, thought this out really well and wanted to be able to take it off the street and onto a racetrack, um, but also have all of the modern conveniences that you'd find in a car today. Uh, mission was definitely accomplished with that. Um, starting with the exterior, it retains all the original sheet metal. It does have a custom um, hood, and it also has some custom work done to the side scoops. Um, the body in paint is absolutely flawless. It is extreme show quality is how I would refer to the body in paint. Uh, it sits on true forged 18-inch uh, wheels, which look awesome. All the glass is new. It's been tinted. Uh, one of the best looking cars uh, we've ever had. Talking about the interior, the interior of this car is absolutely in flawless, like new condition. It's been done to a very high level. Uh, headliners new, sun visors are new. Uh, it's got custom door panels with these really nice uh, aluminum style door handles. It has power windows that are integrated into the door panel. It's got all custom gauges. They're made by Dakota Digital. Um, it's got a tilt steering wheel. It's got a custom uh, steering wheel. Uh, it's got a beautiful sound system. It's got vintage air conditioning. It's got some auxiliary outlets here. They even did a real special deal over there uh, with a custom gauge that would normally be put where the clock was from the factory. Um, it's got a custom uh, console here with cup holders. It's got these really comfortable seats. It's got an eight point roll cage. Uh, it's just an amazing car. Uh, the engine compartment is highly detailed. Uh, it's powered by a Coyote 5.0 liter illuminator motor with a Whipple supercharger. The car was dynoed at 530 horsepower at the rear tires, which means it's somewhere in the low to mid 600 horsepower. It is a super fast car to drive. Um, the engine is actually coupled to a Tremec uh, T56 Magnum six speed transmission uh, which is an awesome transmission uh, they're built extremely well to handle a lot of horsepower um, just a super super deal and the power uh, is transferred to a ford nine inch posi rear end anybody who knows rear ends knows that four nine inches are amazing uh, the undercarriage of this car is highly detailed it's got a complete custom tci suspension system coilovers uh, it's got all sorts of things to make the car uh, handle extremely well. It also has Willwood four-wheel disc brakes as well for great stopping power. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go ahead and start the car and I'm gonna just go over some of the features here, show you how they function. We're gonna take it for a ride around this parking lot. This parking lot is perfect because there's no traffic. I can kind of do some demonstrations here. And then when we're pulling out of the parking lot, I'm going to take it down the highway, get on it a few times, and show you how well it performs. So I'm going to go ahead and start it now. This car runs absolutely awesome. It sounds awesome. Uh, once I'm done doing this driving presentation here, we'll do a video of the uh, exhaust so you can hear how aggressive it is. It's just a super, super car. So once again, to go over some of these options here with you, it does have a remote uh, mirror, which works nicely for the driver's side. Um, it does have power windows on both the passenger side and driver's side. You can see how nicely these windows roll up and down. They seal real tight up top, which is key. Um, all of these gauges are illuminated in blue. Um, you've got, you know, obviously your gas gauge, which is working great. Your volt 
gauge, you got your speedometer, RPM gauge, you can see how beautifully it's idling, oil pressure strong, great temperature, everything's in great working order. Um, the windshield wipers, demonstrate these here for you, they work great. The horn, horn works, tilt steering wheel, you got your radio like I said, you got your air conditioning system, it's got this great shifter here. Um, so once again, everything in this car is in working order. I'm going to go ahead and uh, roll the windows down for this video. Maybe get a little sound out of it. Pass to your side as well. And uh, we're going to take it for a little spin. This car, uh, one thing I love about it is not only is it super comfortable, it has no rattles, you're really planted well to the ground, so it handles super, you can see how precise the steering wheel is. Like I said, uh, the gentleman who uh, organized this build uh, was a vintage SAAC racer, and he really wanted to be able to take the car off the street and onto a track, um, so it handles just absolutely awesome. Um, can't brag enough about that, how well it brakes. We're in a kind of a small space here, but I am going to get on it just a little bit and show you. I'll shift it to second gear. Um, you can to totally see we just left a pretty uh, big strip back there, burned some rubber. It just has an extreme amount of power. So right now I'm in second gear. I am barely touching the gas pedal. We're at somewhere around, I don't know, 1500 RPMs or so. I'll go ahead and turn the opposite way. And again, I'll do the same thing coming down, shifting it back to first over here. I'll get on it just a little bit. I'm not going to give it all the throttle, obviously, but just a little bit. You hear it turn wheels, and I'm only getting it up a little bit, maybe uh, 2,000, 2,500 RPMs. Um, this is an absolute monster to drive. It is extremely fun. You, if somebody told me I was driving a new car, something from you know 2019, uh, I really wouldn't know the difference. That's how well built this car is. It is super, super the way it was engineered and designed. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and I'll do one more for you. And then... Uh, We'll do a couple of exterior videos for you and put it next to the exhaust so you can hear it. But So anyway, we'll start right here. I want you to hear these tires. <laughs> this is awesome. Whoever buys this car, not only is going to get a ton of looks from people everywhere because of the awesome styling, the great color, but more importantly, they're going to have a blast driving it. to do is uh, take this car down Route 6. Uh, not the easiest area for me to get a ton of speed at, but we're going to show you a little bit about what this car is made of. I can't emphasize enough how awesome this car is to drive.
already going about 65 miles an hour here. You can see stuff like this I gotta be careful of. But this car is tracking down the road perfectly straight, no rattles. I feel like I'm driving in a Porsche with a drivetrain that will just rip the streets. This is a little side street here, Hollister. And I'm going to go on. It's kind of a private road. I want to get a little distance between me and that truck up there. Because this car will catch that truck rather quickly. I'm going to get on it just a little bit. I'll try to get it up to, I don't know, 70, 80 miles an hour here.